BAFTA sent an email around to their thing to staff or whatever to to make sure all web links and all photos of me for my entire career and then were deleted off their website disabled and deleted off their website um, it's just like not existing you know yeah save my how you doing you know that we both yeah take care bro yeah hold up hey stay out of trouble you know yeah, yeah. No, 100%, <laughs> all right love 100%, yeah love um well wow, that was a lot of love from a guy that's um come out of prison and was saying that he he couldn't believe what happened and yeah well, that makes two of us anyway as i was saying it's like being dead it's like being not existing and that's what they want i guess that's the only time that anyone would even listen that's the only time people would listen if i wasn't here then suddenly people would be like oh actually maybe we should look closer at that thing but right now i ain't dead i'm in early in the morning early. What's going on the people, then it's your boy Cam Topical Juice and I'm back with a very, very different video today. This isn't in the news, this isn't breaking. This is a continuation of a video I'd done a year or two ago, whenever it was, whenever the news broke, about No Clark and I'm gonna leave it in the description below. It was called The Dark Side of No Clark because The Guardian had already done a whole big article, a massive article dating back to 2004 all the way to 2020 or 2018, something like 2019, something like that, right? Of, of 20 plus women, I think it's a grand total of 20 different women and multiple witnesses, right? Exposing no clocks, essay allegations, bullying allegations and things like that. Now, he got accused by 20 plus people, whatever it was, 20 people, multiple different witnesses, not just those people, their mums, their partners, but this year, the police decided not to pursue any criminal investigation. It's dropped. There's nothing, nothing's gonna happen to Noel Clark. It's, it's done. Due to no evidence or whatever. Now, I don't buy it. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I, I just don't buy it. Like for me, I don't give a shit if someone's guilty or not guilty in the eyes of the law. I look at the evidence, my guy. Do you know what I'm saying? If someone's been convicted of 100 years for an M charge, and it's clear as day they've been set up or something, I'll say it. If someone's being accused by 20 different people over a 15 year period, and they get found not guilty, I don't care fam. It's one of them ones, I, I don't care. I don't care, I know exactly where my opinion lies. The same way I believe Mason Rick Greenwood is guilty, yeah? I don't care if he, when he, play, when he, when he inevitably plays for United again, I don't care. You feel me? Like I, I, I know, I know what I know. I know what I think. And now, no Clark's been not found not guilty or whatever, whatever. I, and there's no criminal investigation. I ain't forgotten. And I'm not gonna let this clown here spin this narrative like he's a victim. So let's get into this video, guys. Like the video for me. Hit the bell to be notified for me. Press that subscribe button for me. And of course, if you wanna support your words, merchandise it's in the description below. Now, listen. It was never easy for me to make those videos about no Clark. No Clark is my childhood. Doctor Who, are you dumb? Seeing No Clark on Doctor Who, I'm with David Tennant, that's big moves, man. Like for me, I was, I, I really liked No Clark, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was a big inspiration for me. Obviously, kidulthood, adulthood, the rest, uh, the one with uh, Ashley Waters and whatever, Bulletproof, all these things, like, he, he's, he was cold. But when this article came out, I don't care about who's cold and what's not. I'm not, I don't dick ride no one, bro. I, I go where the facts are, it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. So when this article came out and I'm looking at this evidence and it's, and, it's, and it's painting this picture and painting this picture of this person who I don't know, but it's painting a real different image to what I thought it would be, I'm gonna listen. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna listen, I'm not gonna dick ride. Now, I played a video at the start of this video. And when I was watching this video, I was literally like cringing because I don't even care about the BAFTAs thing. Like the whole, whatever, like the BAFTAs, like what was he even saying about the BAFTAs? They removed evidence of him or something. Whatever. You know, in fact, we will talk about that. We will talk about that. So let's talk about the BAFTAs thing. So the BAFTAs removed all, like, history of him. And what? Clearly, me and the BAFTAs are on the same line of thinking. We think you're guilty. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if that's what they think, that's entirely their prerogative. Just because the police ain't investigating you and you probably paid off a few people, we'll get into we'll get into all that. We're actually gonna peel back 
the judicial system and how it how, and how flawed it is anyway. But like, just because there ain't no evidence against you, which we'll talk about, that doesn't mean that we have to believe you, big man. Now, of course, you're gonna get people in the comments, probably some black people who wanna ride out, the same black people who are defending R. Kelly, the same black people who are defending OJ, the same black people who are defending, um, uh, who's that old man? Um, uh, who's that old man, the, uh, the one who's got the funny voice, the old black Donny. Anyway, that's embarrassing because you'd be like, oh, it's the system. Just because he won a BAFTA and they're trying to tear him down and it's, oh, it's anti-black. This is BLM and fuck all that. You know how, you know how pro-black I am. This ain't no black thing. Yeah, let's not even take it there. If the BAFTAs don't want to support you and want to er eradicate and remove you from their system or whatever, so be it. That's their prerogative. The bit that was making me cringe so much was the bit that was edited out. The convo that he had with a stranger. Just his demeanour, just kind of... He, he really walks around like he, he just walks around like the narcissist people say he is. They, they really, he really kind of just walks around with this air of arrogance and this kind of, hmm, that was just a, you know, the fact that, the fact that the video came back just as he's saying, hey, hey stay out of trouble, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, like, it's, like some, it's like some kid in a car, it's like some scene in a, in a show where someone looks back at the kid and goes, hey, kid. Stay in school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what is this? What do you expect to, what, what the fuck is this? Like, come on, man. Like, show, you might as well show us the whole combo then. You know what I'm saying? Rather than just the end. But, and then he, just, he kind of just walks off and he's, yeah, you know, he just came out of prison and uh, he said that he just couldn't believe what had happened to me and uh, that just makes the two of us. And, um, you know, when people are alive, that's when they don't want to listen. But when people die, that's when they want to listen. I think, um, yeah, we, we should look into this. What are you talking about, big man? What are you actually talking about? Like, bro, you're not making no sense. It, it, this, this, this boils down to public opinion, facts, and evidence, and, and what, you actually, what you actually think in it, what someone thinks. I believe, I believe all 20 of those people that came up against you across a 15-year period. It, it, the real world just doesn't work like that. If so, do you think they just came together in 2004 and said, you know what, let's build a 15 year case against this small time actor. Because he, he would have been small time in 2004. This small time, you know, this, this, this small underground or coming up, up and coming British actor. Let's, let's conspire against him. And in 2019, we'll release, in 2020, release this big article and expose him with no real evidence against Bro, come on. Bro, when people are serial offenders, serial the A word and serial bullies, etc. Over years, like Tim Westwood, Tim Nonswood, that prick, the rest of them. Once one person feels empowered, the rest will come out of the woodwork because they they're not alone no more. That's how it works. God forbid one person came out against me, which they wouldn't. But if God, God forbid one person came out against me, twenty others wouldn't because they just don't exist. Neither they just don't. Like it would just I would just I would just disprove the first one as bullshit as a liar and keep it moving. They wouldn't like you know you know what I'm saying. So. What makes you think that these people, do you get, like, it's just madness. Like, the, the people that suddenly believe Noel Clark here are the same people that would say that Jeffrey Epstizzi didn't end himself in jail. That he was actually, you know what I'm saying, someone actually did that. So they'll pick and choose when to listen to the official report. Because the official report was that he fingered himself, he topped himself, innit? But then they'll be like, no, no, it couldn't have been. Because look what he knew, it's a conspiracy. Look, someone must have got there first. But then the official report for Noel Clark is that he's innocent and, and there's no evidence against him and they're just choosing to believe it. Do you know what I'm saying? So people should, see me, I prefer consistency. I look at the facts, figures, context and then make up my, my decision. Critical thinking, not just bias and listening to bullshit. Now let's talk about this evidence. Yeah. The police didn't pursue nothing because you can't prove nothing, guys. That's all it is. It's not what you know and what's right and wrong, what's true and false. It's what you can prove. That's why the, the system is flawed because it's not about guilty or not guilty. It's what you can prove, yeah? Now, even though I think there's enough evidence against him, the fact that there's witnesses from mums, witnesses from partners, witnesses from the victims, there's... It's his word against theirs, you know what I'm saying? There's no actual proof, there's no CCTV evidence. It's very difficult to prove that someone grabbed your ass cheeks 20 years ago or 10 years ago in a set, in a film. Where's the evidence against him? You can't. So the most you can really do is slander the man's reputation. You feel me? This is how the real world works. So yeah, it's as simple as that. How can you prove that he, that he said to this costume lady, oh, stay here while I change, and he's getting naked in front of that. That happened 15 years ago, how, how could a man prove that? So that's why there's no evidence against him, do you understand? It's just, it's just hearsay at the moment, but my logic, 20 people, 15 years, nah. I mean, what more evidence, 
What more could he want? You know what I'm saying? What more evidence do you need? 20 people, I don't get it. So anyway, let's actually look at the evidence. He had admitted this to colleagues, witnesses, yeah, that he had engaged in naked auditions. So he had got people to audition naked, which was not against the rules. And it was, it was against the rules and it was filmed and things like that. He admitted that, that he had access to these files, like backroom, like, like this is backroom casting couch or something, bro. He sent unsolicited, unsolicited D pics. He said to the costume lady, I can make your career, how she's got a nice body. She then goes home and tells her mum that, another witness. Not only that, the bullying, someone had a panic attack after realizing she'd have to be in a room with no Clark for two plus hours after he shouted at her. She had a panic attack so much, they called the ambulance. An ambulance came for the panic attack, multiple witnesses. Another woman had therapy because of no Clark. Another man who, who was filming on the set of another hood, sorry, brotherhood, quit acting for three years after being on the film with him because he was just, he didn't want to do it no more. This is multiple people, multiple witnesses, multiple different stories. Do you remember his response, guys? He said, so he denied it. Of course, he denied allegations. That's what you're going to do. You want to protect your, your, your brand. But then he said he will seek professional help. Hang about. So if someone needs to seek professional help, what's he apologize? Like, what's he denying? Like, what, what, fam, that doesn't make sense to me. That like, there's, there's some, there's some illogical, that's a, there's an error there. There's an error there. You, like if you, you're admitting you need and you will seek professional help so you can understand like your certain behaviors but then be it you're denying. That's like all these Ronaldo begs, yeah? Because Ronaldo is fully one, fully, I think Ronaldo's guilty. So CR7, he's guilty, I've been done, I've been exposed him. Yeah, that's like Ronaldo paying off a woman for something he didn't do. Well, hey, but why would you pay hush hush money for something you didn't do? Because if I didn't do something, you best believe my pockets are zip up. I'll be taking your ass to court for defamation of some, you know what I'm saying? So, I, you know what I'm saying? I just don't, I don't get it. it, it the, the, the logic is not really logic in, you know what I'm saying? It's not really making sense. It's not really logical in my mind, so. And this was one of the last articles I saw about him. This was back in May. So this is the end of May. So basically, this is summer. It's not even that long ago. Noel Clark has said allegations of SH and bullying made against him by 20 women left him feeling suicidal. The actor, writer and director told the Mail on Sunday that allegations damaged me in a way that I cannot articulate. I lost everything. Clark said he was deeply sorry if his actions affected people in ways he did not intend or realize before adding, people make jokes with each other that cross the line. The 46 year old told the Mail, have I ever made a saucy comment? 100%, but not to the extent that is warranted the destruction of my life. I can't say that I never talked about sex at work. We're adults in a workplace. I think sometimes these are just normal conversations people have. The father of four added, I was never involved in any conversation that I didn't believe was mutual. My guys, he's admitting it. <laughs> you look, you have to read between the lines here, my guys. My Jew says, read between the lines. He is literally admitting what he's done. He's basically saying that, yes, I did talk about these things. I didn't know it was wrong to do so. And I don't think I deserve to have my life ruined for it. You have to read between the lines. He's comfortable now saying these things because there's no investigation against him, guys. Guys, this guy clearly is a narcissist. You know, he's entitled, he's an entitled man. A lot of men are. He's as a rich man. You feel me? He's a powerful man in the industry. He's, bro, people can't handle it. When I'm rich and powerful and influential, I'm gonna be the same goddamn trill guy that I, you see in front of you. This shit won't change me, but people, unfortunately, they do they do change and they, they lose their head a little bit. So, the, I did this whole video, yeah, because I would love to encourage you lot to really critically think for yourself. If you believe this man is innocent and you believe that the whole system came up against him and 20 random people who did not know each other beforehand conspired against him, fine. Let me know that's your opinion and give me the evidence, the proof, not the fact that he's not being investigated and the police decide to drop it, not that, because that doesn't mean niche. How many, someone got, someone got released the other day in America for serving 20 plus years, he was innocent. So what, so for 20 plus years he was demonized and then he was innocent in the eyes of the law. Well, you better give that man some conversation. The system's flawed, guys. <laughs> the system is flawed, it is completely inconsistent. I don't give a shit if you found guilty and not guilty. I look at the evidence. That's it. I look at the facts. There was witnesses, you know what I'm saying? Multiple witnesses, people calling the ambulance. Like, fam, men and women, it's madness. Like you can even just, and not to mention, I'm very good. I'm very emotionally intelligent. I can, I'm, I'm looking at this guy. 
I'm looking at this guy's air of arrogance and yeah, man, I don't like it at all. He really is giving narcissism, narcissism vibes. Now talking about how it left him suicidal. My brother, what? You've literally got people who had therapy because of you. So, it let, I mean, apologies if my empathy is, like, you feel me? Like, boy. But, listen, I need to know who my real subscribers are. I want to know who made it to the end of the video. If you made it this far, I want you to put a middle finger in the, in the comment section. Middle finger, the system. Yeah, F the system. Put a DA actually. Fuck, fuck the system. Yeah, middle finger, the system. If you made it this far, please do that so I know who my real ones are. Like, comment, subscribe. What the hell do I know, man? I'm just a man in his 20s.